Welcome to the Hydraulic Press channel. Today we are going to do some real science. We are going to test out the 300 ton hydraulic press data locking capability. And you might remember our old data locking device. It was force display and then the camera recording that. And then I tried to synchronize it on the edit, but no more. With this, we can measure the force from the press itself, from the pressure, and then here we have position sensor, so we know also where it is and where it's going to be and where it's not. And with all that data, we can save that to USB stick and then we can take that file, put that into chat GPT and that guy, that guy is clever, he can make nice graph for us. And we can have position, force, and from those we can also calculate speed and power. So that's really interesting. And I have just tried that it's really easy to do. I just pushed this down against the table, made a this graph out of that. But this is not very interesting because there isn't anything between. So now we are going to test out with different items. I think it's super interesting to see how much power we, we use here on crossing. For example, I think we are going to start with bone. Check out. This is only like temporal safety solution. The bulletproof windows are like this thick and they're coming. But let's crush this. And here is the data. And unfortunately the bone was just too weak. You can't measure like forces around five to 10 tons with this method, especially when the press is moving fast. There is so much pressure loss to the flow that it's really hard to measure, but there is a small bump where it hit the bone. And we can also make these animations. It's really like sketchy. Sometimes it makes it and sometimes it doesn't make it. But I have also a special trick that I can use to turn the pictures into animations and I do it on the next crush. Okay, then post-it notes, and now I'm going to switch the big pumps off, and I have limited the flow on the small pump. So we're going to load the force really slowly, so we get really good resolution on the force and the position. And yeah, this should be much harder, and I'm not going to run into the table after the crush. That, that is like unnecessary, and it gets more more work on the analyzing part, because then you have to manually limit the force resolution to the right values. Well, let's go. It's going to maybe hit the windows. Maybe. Okay. Yeah, it's really slow. It's going to give good data. Now it's starting to load the force more. Okay, it didn't explode when we went this slowly. Yeah, let's get the data out and have a look. Let's see, let's see, I, I've switched the full speed back on. Yeah. I have never seen anything like this. Hmm. If you just go slow enough and give it the right amount of time, it doesn't explode. Hmm. Paper that doesn't explode. We have to do playing cards after this. We, we want to see also explosion, but let's see this data first. Okay, the animation wasn't perfect, but I think I can make them better. The graphs were slightly different from chat GPT, but here is the whole graph. And I think these are going to be really interesting on like some crushes. 
I'm not going to probably make them for every crush on the channel, but when something interesting happens, we can like look it more, more accurately through these and zoom in on these, of course. We have been quite busy because uh, we have now two, two, two jobs. We are making these YouTube videos and then as a second job, we are making this science center here and update from the last week. I think the most visible update is these are these uh, acoustic panels. We have more of these also still. And then I designed the mounting for the bulletproof windows. I designed the door and the roof. And those are now ordered. So they're going to take about one week to arrive. And when those are here, then we can do truly stupid things. And Hanna has been also re really like busy. Pro productive. Ha productive. Hanna ordered shields for these and for the electric box. Mm. And we are going to also get the box out from the machine frame. We are going to put like small stand for it. So it doesn't jump with the machine. Mm. But now it's going to have to do small jump <laughs> because we have playing cards there. The answer why stuff doesn't explode is here. Remember last week? Yeah. We don't. <laughs> dent is as hell. The dent is messing up the paper for me. Mm. So uh, let's get this out. So to make the paper go boom, I take one and a half millimeters out of this. Then it should be again straight and ready to go. Yeah! The end result is the same, but the speed and the sound was completely different. So let's see what the data says. Okay, on the bottom uh, it's the fast one and on the top it's the slow one. And the slow one had the dented tools and these are now like on the same time scale. So you see how much faster the fast was. And the fast was also a bit stronger because the tools were better, but it's a not a huge difference. And now we want to test something that gives a bit more like resistance for a longer distance. So one more, one more lock there. <laughs> Okay, and now we have also speed and power, and I just realized that my position has one extra zero, so it's added also to speed and power, so it's not generating 100 kilowatts of power, that's only 10, but that's still quite a lot of power being used to crush the tree, so it's not like easy job to do, and as we see it's moving around 20 millimeters per second, so that's the half speed. We are using just two smaller pumps. And I think that the speed and power, they are going to be super interesting on next week video, uh, where we are going to extrude stuff through those small holes again. So we see how much power we are generating on that blast. But the, um, I think the graphs, these are great. I think the animation about the graphs with the crush, that's a bit like, a bit confusing. I think during the crush, I'm going to just show the force number and position number, and I'm going to get the laptop ready for the next week video to do that. I'm going to run screen capture there from the press software, and here I'm 3D printing the holders for the laptop. I'm going to make a two sets out of these, one for my window and the second for Hannah's window, so we can change the position depending on who is crushing. But to see that, subscribe the channel and watch the next week video. And that is all for today. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.